Hello everyone, so I am back with a, it's kind of like a tutorial slash process video. And these are not the same ones as the one, as the last ones I made. These are just slightly different. And the reason why I did that is because I wanted to show you how I made them. I did get a few requests. And even though I, I have a tutorial on how I made some Christmas ones, but I thought I would show you how I made these last ones. I did mention in the video that I did try to replicate the ones from my last video. So let me go ahead and show you the first, the first batch I made and then what, what they look like with this new one. So here is this one and this one is just slightly different. I end up adding another, another rosette which is this one so you can see both of them they are almost identical other than that extra um, rosette everything else is the same and of course I use different fairies I want to use the time. same images and the next one would be this one this one is pretty much almost the same also except for that image and then my favorite one which is this one you guys this is my favorite one I just love the way this one looks um, as you can see, this one does have like a hole in here. So what I ended up doing with this one, I covered it up with that bead. It's a gold bead from my stash. And that's pretty much it. Also, if you watch the whole video, I show you how pretty much how to make them from start to finish. And I even show you how I make my bows which are super easy to make you guys also please check the description box for all of the polka doodle items used in this video i will have direct links to each item anyways that's it for today and enjoy the process video okay Bye. so real quick here are the supplies that i'm going to use i'm going to use um this die set and the one i use is this one in the middle and then when you cut this one out you only need to cut it out once next die is this one right here and that's what that looks like and it is called party fans and i'm going to use the smallest one now this one you need to cut it out three times of course the beautiful papers from polka doodles the images from polka doodles as well i've already cut these out this is from the octavia moonfly collection and these two are from the serenity um, fairy wishes collection for the back like the base of the wand I used this die right here and I used the biggest one and this is by Spellbinders. So I did a lot of the prep prep work ahead of time. I've cut these out and I have backed it up with some cardstock so it can be a little bit sturdier. So let's get started. First going to start with um, the rosette. Like I mentioned you have to cut it out three times and then you these have score marks as you can i don't know if you can tell yes you can and so the way i do it is i'm going to add to this one that was half cut i'm going to add adhesive and then um adhere it onto that and then i'm going to do it one more time and this is what you will get this longer piece right here once you get this long piece you're going to accordion fold this all the way to the end And this is what it should look like and then you're going to adhere both ends i just like to use hot glue because you know it is fast so now you have something that looks like this i've already cut out a circle so the edge is going to go at the bottom this is how i do it and you can see i'm just using a scrap and i like to add a lot of glue or a lot of hot glue then I put this right in the middle and then, you know, so I can, I try to center it as best as I can. And then I just, you know, gather it up at the top and then just push down on it. And then I'm going to leave it there for a few seconds and wait for it to dry. And this is how you make a rosette. And you're going to do this um, however many ones you're making. So I've already, like I said done some prep work I've done this one if you want to layer you know make another one that's where I made that's why I have these these smaller ones and you can see that they layer very nicely and so this is what it looks like with just one rosette you can see right there that's just one rosette and this is using two rosettes so it has a lot more dimension and I I think I prefer the one with the two rosettes but I think both are just perfectly fine 
just depends on what project you're using it on. Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to um, assemble everything together. I'm going to start building up my layers and as you can see I brought out my doilies and these doilies measure they are about three and a half in diameter and these are from recollections um, but you can use any doilies you like I just like them because they were just slightly bigger than my rosette because that way you can still see um, some of it so what I'm trying to do here, in, in case I haven't mentioned, I'm going to try and make a, almost exact replicas of the ones that you should have already seen. The only difference is the images are going to be different. All I do is just hot glue everything down. So this is what I have so far. Um, I had originally already adhered this down and I totally forgot you guys about these straws. So don't forget about the straws. There are several ways that you can adhere the straws, but this is how I do it. This is how I've been doing it since day one. I usually just um, flatten um, some of it down because I don't want it to be super bulky. Some people will um, adhere it just like that or to the back of it to one of the, you know, to one of the mountains. And which you can do that, but to me... As you can see, I had to tear it apart. Um, it just doesn't, because I like to add it somewhere a little bit over a halfway mark, just so it can have more stability. So for me, that doesn't work. So what I like to do, I like to um, flatten it out a bit. And then what I do is I hear it onto the rosette. And I guess I need to go down more. And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to all three. What I have so far, you guys, and you can see that it is coming along pretty good. Now the next step I'm going to do is start adding my layers and I've already cut some of these pieces out. Like I did mention, I'm going to try to make exact replicas. So for this wand, um, on this rosette, I actually, you know how it has the ends of it? It has some um, gold and I did show you this one. So all I did was just, you know, paint some gold on it and that's it. I'm only going to show you how I made one and so I've gotten my trims and this is what I chose I cut them to and this is how I do it you guys so I just figure out how how much um, how long I want them and then you know so I got that piece I have some sequins and of course I do cut them longer sometimes so that I can cut them out um, after I have adhered it so that looks about right okay so I'm going to start with let's do this one the white one so I'm just going to fold it in half and are you ready to see how I do this you guys it is like the easiest thing ever I just put hot glue right there in the center and then with my scissors, I try to push it in. And let's see. Okay. And that is it, you guys. That's all I do. So I'm going to do the same thing with the next one. I'm going to fold this in half. 
add more hot glue. I do like to separate these just so they don't adhere together. Bring this to the center. And then, or it doesn't have to be your scissors. It can be anything thin, but my fingers are too big. And for this tiny little space. That's it. And let's do this a couple more times. And I'll be done with this part. Here's what it looks like so far. You can see that it is coming along just fine. And now I'm going to show you guys how I make my bows because there are a couple of people that asked on how I make my bows. And it is the easiest thing ever because I cannot tie a bow you guys and I do have a bow maker so I'm going to show you how I make mine so I'm going to use some seam binding and I have it and these are both on oh, this is Martha Stewart this is by Stampin' Up but you can use any seam binding if you only have it in white you can always just dye, color, dye it whatever color you like okay so this is how I'm going to do it you guys so I've cut a piece of, bi of seam binding and this is probably a bit short because since I am going to crinkle it and then all I do is wrap it around my fingers and I do it very loosely because when I crinkle the paper, I mean the seam binding, it is going to make it a tiny bit, you know, smaller. So I'm going to leave uh, about that much of a length. I have no idea how much. So I'm just going to wrap it once and then a second time because I want two loops. You can see the two right there, two loops right there. Um and then literally you guys all i'm going to do is try to find the center which is right here just like that and then i'm going to get this other the other piece i had and i'm going to tie a knot as best as i can and i'm going to try not to fast forward so you can see um, how i do this and i can't see what i'm doing to be honest with you okay there you go and that is it you guys this is how I make my bows this is how I've been making those bows that you saw in the um, in the other ones I know they don't look that great but this is how I made them and then just you can leave them like this as is or um, if you want to um, I, um, crinkle them add some water or some alcohol and just scrunch it up so I'm going to go ahead and do that so here's my bow you guys <laughs> all I did was um, I what I got some water and I think it's better if you add alcohol only because it dries a lot faster but um, so look what I'm doing I'm just going to try and crinkle it as much as I can I want it like to be really crinkle you don't have to do this part if you don't want to but that's my bow right there it's in there you guys and I'm going to use my heat tool I have this one which is from Martha Stewart and I am going to probably speed this up so you don't have to hear the loud noise because it will get pretty noisy Here is my bow and what I like about these bows is that they're not perfect and by no means is mine perfect at all and you know when it comes to shabby it's not meant to be perfect so here it is you can see that my tails are all different lengths and I am probably gonna have to cut this one a little bit because it is a bit too long but I'm going to leave that you know I'm going to cut it uh, after I've gl um, hot glued it onto my rosette. So it is time for me to glue it on, you guys. So what I'm going to do is separate these because I don't want the hot glue to leave these all in the center. I hope that makes sense. So decide which is your front, which is the back. Oh, I actually like that one too. Because I am going to cover this up anyways. Um, it's okay. I'll just leave that as a front. I'm going to add some hot glue. Add this to the center. 
of my rosette. And now I'm going to add a center on this bow. So here's what I'm going to use as a center. I'm going to use hot glue again and add it to the center of that bow. And look how cute that looks, you guys. So all I have left to do is add flowers and I'm done. 